They're back, like clockwork. The, these fish are in great condition on average. Greg Taylor is a biologist with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and oversees the fisheries trap and haul program at Fall Creek Reservoir. Juvenile salmon that left years ago are returning as adults and ready to spawn. But at Fall Creek, they hit a dam. Getting over requires a lift, literally. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers started their project in the 1960s when the dam was built. Back then, returning salmon were sent to hatcheries and other locations. But 10 years ago, as wild salmon numbers dwindled, biologists redirected their efforts. It's a manual, time-consuming process. Oh, this is scaring the fish to the other side of the crowder. Moving the fish into a tank. The fish then are submerged in an anesthetic. This allows scientists to conduct research, checking the sex, 6.8, measurements, and fat counts. A snippet is also taken from the tail for genetic testing. And what Taylor is finding, the fish that are returning, their parents also spawned here. Over the past four years, an average of 350 salmon have returned, and this year, they're on track to see 600. The wild salmon population are, is at or near its historic numbers, and um, that's really exciting. It's one area in the Willamette Valley seeing success. Taylor attributes it in part to a complete drawdown. Two winters in a row, water levels at the reservoir dropped to the actual stream bed. This is time-lapse video. The drawdown allowed 97% of juveniles to safely pass through, and those returning are now getting help getting back. Our job is to just be kind of a, a salmon shuttle service. When the, when the fish get here, uh, we want to transport them as quickly as we can around the dam and up to the river above the dam. By the end of June, 75% of total returning salmon will have made the ride up the river and into the tank. At Fall Creek Reservoir, Sean Cuellar, KEZI 9 News.